You can now play as Michonne from The Walking Dead in Call of Duty. The first thing you get is the Michonne operator, and she does have her own voice line, so we'll be testing those out. Then you get blueprints with Decay Tracers and Michonne Specialty Effect, and there's even a melee blueprint that comes with these effects as well. There's a sticker, a large decal, the Dead Cuts finishing move, and we'll take a look at all different variations of this. Then we've got the mic weapon charm, but before we test all this out, if you want to see any more bundle reviews like this in the future, make sure to unlock that subscribe button. Michonne's on the core tack team. Here's the Michonne operator in game. Quick look at her face. And uh, yeah, it looks like Michonne. Uh, I don't really watch The Walking Dead, but I assume this is what her outfit looks like in the show. Got a giant katana on her back, which is her main weapon that she uses. So yeah, I don't, I don't know what else you really expected here. The operator skin itself looks just like Michonne, as it clearly should. I'm not really too sure what else to check out for. Like I said, I don't watch The Walking Dead. I'm not sure if there's anything else known about her character, like tattoos or anything else small detail wise, but there's a pretty good overview. Now for the weapons that come in this bundle, we've got the Lone Survivor for the MCW, which looks like a normal MCW. Now it's just got blood all over it and then it says the walking dead on the side of it kind of basic but maybe you can still see the blood when you put camos on it then we've got the walker waster for the longbow love the name of it but once again it's just a longbow but now it's got dried blood all over it and then it says the walking dead with a bunch of zombies both of these come in with death and decay tracers this is how they sound These tracers almost have like a rustic sound when shot. Now, when we shoot them on the wall, they just kind of look red. Yeah, they're just red spark tracers. Oh, they do leave a little impact effect. It almost looks like we're shooting it into sand. It like raises up the edges. That's an interesting effect. Not sure what that has to do with the walking dead. Unless that's how bullet holes look in the show. But yeah, red tracers with raised up anthill looking bullet holes. Tracers in a dark area. Oh, there's a giant red muzzle flash. I didn't even notice that when we were shooting that outside. It's still there, it's just not as noticeable, but the red muzzle flash, yeah, you can see this clearly in a darker area. Now for the custom hit marker and death effects on these weapons, they have Michonne's specialty death effect, which I'm not sure what that... Huh? So, so Michonne's specialty is just instant, instant vaporization into blood? Yeah. All right, well, that, that is Michonne's specialty. So we can just shoot them anywhere in the body and they're just gone. 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 Not the craziest tracers in the game, but it is kind of satisfying just to see them Thanos snap into nothing and then just a little bit of blood left in the air. Oop. Now let's see if there's a custom hit marker effect with these tracers. So if you shoot an enemy, no, there is, uh, there's no custom hit marker effect. There's just that little spark of red that you get when you shoot the ground. Shh, shh. Bye, Timmy. John Doe, more like Gondo. And I almost forgot, we also got the Killer Kadachis blueprint for the Kadachis. These look like the other blueprints. There's blood on them, and they also say The Walking Dead. But interesting enough, it also said these came with tracers. So if we swing with it, nothing looks different here, but let's take someone out with these. I assume they just have the same death effects as the weapon. And yeah, so it's the same death effects you have on the weapon. Regardless, I always love when melee weapons get death effects on them. There's not many of these in the game. So every time we get a melee blueprint with death effects, I'm all for it. Now, unfortunately, with all three of these blueprints, if you put mastery camos on them, they cover up the entire thing. You're not going to see the blood. You're not going to see the walking dead on it anymore, except for the Kadachis. When you put mastery camos on this, you can kind of see the walking dead. But for the most part, if you're going to run these blueprints with mastery camos, you're not even going to be able to tell it's a blueprint anymore. For some of the default camos and event camos, it's kind of hit or miss. With some of them, you can see the blood, you can see the walking dead, and then other ones you can't. So there will be a few good combinations out there, but it's definitely a big rip for the mastery camos. Here's the extras that come in the bundle. There's a sticker, a decal, and a charm. The decal says the ones who live. Not quite sure what the sticker is. Then the charm is just called Mike, and it appears to be a zombie that's missing his arms. Not exactly sure the backstory on that, but sure it has something to do with Michonne. Now for my favorite part, let's test out all the different versions of Michonne's dead cuts finishing move. Here's the standing version. Some bullies you can live with. Others? Nah. You gotta fight. Yeah, that's a dead cut. That that is that is a dead cut. Let's see if it looks any different from the other angle. Some bullies you can live with. Others? Nah. You gotta fight. Please. Please tell me this is not our only finishing line. It's a cool finishing line. It does take a long time to say, though, but please, please be other variations. I do like when you put it in their face, the blood that Some just spews out. Others? Nah. You gotta fight. Some bullies you can live with. Others? Nah.
You gotta fight. Now for prone. Some bullies you can live with. Others? Nah. You gotta fight. Oh uh, yeah, prone looked about the same. Other direction. Chop, chop, chop. Some bullies you can live with. Okay, the other direction looks better. I like that angle a lot more than the first one. The voice line, though, is getting a little bit tiresome. And finally, the down version. Some bullies you can live with. Others... Okay, that's the most brutal. I'm pretty sure that was blood gushing out of his eyes. Yeah, um, uh, you, just, you just stick the sword right in the middle of their face. Now for a different angle. Some bullies you can live with. Okay, I get it. Others? I get it. Some bullies you can live with. Others, nah, you gotta fight. Okay, cool. Overall, I think this is a pretty solid finishing move. Nice to have a sword in one of these for once. It's nothing crazy. Like, this isn't the best finishing move in the game. It's not something I put on all my operators, but it is fitting for Michonne. The biggest downside, once again, is the fact that there is one voice line. Pretty much every new operator we've got in Modern Warfare 3, they have one voice line for a finishing move, which sucks because there's way more voice lines in the code that would be perfect for finishing moves. So I'm not sure why they're only assigning one of these to play when you perform a finisher. It, it just, it makes it kind of annoying. I guess it's not too bad because you're not finishing people nonstop like this. You're probably only finishing one or two people per game max, but still hearing the same thing over and over again kind of breaks the immersion a little bit. This finishing move also is an exclusive, so you can use it on any operator you want. And if I had to pick a favorite out of all the versions, it's definitely the down version. Nice little katana right in the kisser. These are some of the voice lines you'll hear while playing as Michonne. Fight the dead. Fear the living. I miss my sword. Very nice. Bring it on. Ah! Check your fire! You're not dying here. Anger makes you stupid. Stupid gets you killed. I owe you one. Walk her down. I'm all that's left. Well, all right then. Just doing my job. Name's Michonne. Rick, got your six. Let's get to work. Walkers ahead. People with nothing to hide don't usually feel the need to say so. Eliminate the target. Headshot. Lethal, going out. We have to choose to be the good guys. I got you. Ah, we're on the same side. Need an MGB payload. Send it. Herd's coming. Not sure what's going on around here. Let's check. Going dark. That thing's not going anywhere. Bad guy down. Some bullies you can live with. Others? Nah. You gotta fight. Fear is dangerous. I won't forget this. Settle that score. Don't get bit. Do better. Back at you. Don't let them scratch you. Watch your corners. Bad guys. Lots of them. Eyes on the resistance. Calling in some smoke. Give me that. This time, stay dead. Not today. Down to me. We're the ones who live. Aim for the head. Ah! They got me! Switching mags. Good job. Cover me. Took that out of commission. Get down! Now that's how it's done. That's more like it. Let's see what you know. I'm Michonne. Negative. Dropped him for good. On me. Don't die on me! Cash here. We could use you on our side. We got dead ones. Need some cash. Walkers! Scratch that. Quiet. I can fly that. All right, Michonne, let me see what you got in zombies. So using the blueprints do the death effects work? Oh, yeah. Nice and clean. So if you don't want a bunch of zombie bodies around, use these blueprints and they just vaporize into uh, nothing. Just blood. Same thing. Use the sword. Oh, wait, what? Do I have the, the walking dead blueprint on? Yeah. No. Okay. Well, in zombies, the death effect on the sword doesn't work, which kind of sucks because in my opinion, the Kadachis were the best of the three blueprints because of how unique it was. But uh, yeah, if you're using the Kadachi blueprint in zombies, there are no death effects here. Go ahead and take a look at the operator skin. And guess what? Still looks like Michonne. It's just this time you get to see Michonne from the back and you get a better look at the sword. I like how the hair moves. But yeah, at the end of the day, just Michonne and... Oh! Yeah, the Kadachis in third person are amazing. Oh my God, look at her go. When she said she was a sword master, she was not kidding. Oh my God. And now it's muffled because it's underwater. What the... Oh, dog. Nope. Death effects don't seem to work on dogs. Hold on. I'm going to make a crafting table real quick. I'm mowing the grass just really inefficiently. Just, just really slowly. One blade at a time. So overall, in my opinion, the Michonne bundle's kind of mid. For 2,400 COD points, the only thing in this bundle that I really care about is the finishing move. 
and it wasn't anything crazy special. Keep in mind, this is coming from someone who hasn't watched The Walking Dead before. So if you know Michonne as a character and you have more of that connection, you might find more worth out of this bundle. But that's why I show you everything. I show you everything in a bundle. That way you can make your own informed decision whether or not it's worth it for yourself. If you want to see more bundle reviews like this in the future, make sure to unlock the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace. Some bullies, you gotta fight.